Rectal bleeding usually first appears as bright red blood on toilet paper, usually after a bowel movement, or when it turns the toilet bowl water red. Rectal bleeding can also show up as a very dark stool, ranging in color from deep red to black and sometimes looking like tar. The color of the blood can help identify where the bleeding is coming from. Bright red blood usually indicates bleeding low in the colon or rectum. Dark red or maroon blood points to bleeding higher in the colon or small intestine. Blood that looks like tar usually means bleeding in the stomach, such as from ulcers. Not all rectal bleeding is visible to the eye. In some cases, rectal bleeding can only be seen by looking at a stool sample through a microscope or through a test called a hemocult, which can be done in a doctor's office. Although rectal bleeding is common, only a small percentage of those who are affected seek treatment. Symptoms usually develop quickly and most causes are treatable and not serious. All cases should be investigated. If you have any rectal bleeding, tell your doctor right away. In some cases, rectal bleeding can be a symptom of a serious disease, such as colorectal or anal cancer. They can do a rectal examination or order tests, such as a colonoscopy, to determine the cause of the bleeding. The symptoms of rectal bleeding may include pain or pressure in the rectum, bright red blood in or on the stool, on underwear and or in the toilet, stool that is red, maroon, or black, stool that looks like tar, confusion, feeling lightheaded or dizzy, and fainting. Rectal bleeding can be caused by the following, hemorrhoids, swollen veins in the rectum or anus, anal fissure, a split or tear in the lining of the anus, anal abscess, pocket of pus in the anus, a fistula, a connection between the anus or rectum to the skin around the anus, diverticulosis and diverticulitis, small pouches that form in weakened sections of the intestine lining and protrude through the bowel wall, inflammatory bowel disease, swelling of the small or large intestine, ulcers, sores in the stomach lining or in the first section of the small intestine, large polyps, growths that are attached to the lining of the large bowel, colorectal cancer, or anal cancer. If you have any questions, please ask your caregivers. Thank you for choosing Cleveland Clinic for your care.